Hello, it's Jess from Jellyphant Art. Why do my nails look so green? <laughs> um, anyway, in today's video, I will be doing kind of a take two almost of a video I did recently, which was a three color acrylic painting challenge. Now, I wasn't very happy with the result and like the truth is it's not really like that bad but I'm just really picky so I don't like it um so yeah I'm gonna be doing it again today um so yeah let's just get started shall we okay so I've got this like mystery wheel app on with all sorts of different colors and let's see what the first color is oh okay it's pink so I've just kind of randomly selected um a shade of pink um of course I have no idea what other colors I'm gonna get so hopefully it goes um, brown. Okay, that's not a terrible colour scheme so far. <laughs> um, right, what's the final colour? Orange. Oh, okay. Now, this isn't actually that bad of a colour scheme. Like, they do go together well. And before you all start thinking like, Hang on, that's orange yellow. It's basically orange. I don't know why it's called all orange yellow. So, yeah, I'll be using some acrylic paper for this. And I have masking taped it down. Um, and yes, I do reuse my masking tape, which is why it's got all sorts of colours on it already. Um, so yeah, I generally just like didn't know what to do for this. Um, that's, that's me brushing away non-existent dust, by the way. Um, and yeah, I just really didn't know what, what my idea was. So I finally actually settled on an idea. Um, and I just kind of went with my first idea, to be honest, because I just couldn't, I just kind of wanted to start, um, painting, to be honest, so yeah. I just started off by drawing a tree, because, you know, trees are nice and stuff, <laughs> I don't know. Um, and yeah, I'm doing a very, like, messy sketch that's kind of confusing, but my idea for this was to do, like, a tree, like, on, like, a hill, and then there are, like, other hills in the background. Um, and I was planning on doing a forest there, but yeah, <laughs> quite a lot of like my original ideas did end up changing and yeah, the filter I've got on this video is making this like paint very, very vibrant to the point where in some shots it looks red and in some shots it look yellow. So yeah, this is actually like orange by the way, you know, cause it kind of, I don't know, it just looks quite reddish in this shot, I guess. Um, so yeah, because it's very, very vibrant. Um, so yeah, I kind of sort of tried. Um, so I feel like sometimes I try a little bit too hard to like make my acrylic paintings like somewhat like watercolour. Like I could literally do this with watercolour. It'll probably look better with watercolour to be honest because I don't know, I feel like acrylic you can just get so much more detail and it almost looks a bit bland in acrylic but with watercolour you know, it kind of has all these, like, interesting textures anyway, so, you know, it's kind of, um, you don't really need to, um, like, go through, um, go to intricate, um, and also I did, like, this on, like, quite a big piece of paper, so, yeah, I probably should have, should have done it smaller, to be honest, but whatever, <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm doing, like, a kind of, um, pink to orange gradient, and because acrylic is quick drying, it's quite difficult to, like, um, create an even gradient like on this large an area because you know I feel like what I should have done is painted the bottom orange and then painted the top pink um, and then just like focused on the blending in the middle but yeah I, I didn't do that I just kind of like did it as I went so now I'm using some brown and I actually I diluted it with water um, by the way when I was filming this I didn't actually realize that this was not in shot at all um, so that was a little bit annoying. Once again, I'm using this too much like watercolour because I added water to it. I know that is a thing that you can do with acrylic, but yeah. Clearly not because like there are loads of like these weird like gaps in it. It's probably either because the acrylic is like p probably waterproof. I don't really know to be honest. It, yeah, yeah, I say acrylic is waterproof because you know like watercolour you activate with water but acrylic you don't. So I guess yeah it is. Um, and also the uh, paper is probably waterproof because it's not very papery. Like it almost feels like 
plasticky almost. I don't know, it's really kind of weird. It doesn't really feel much like paper to be honest, but you know, it is. Um, so now I'm just um, using some brown that isn't diluted this time. Um, and yeah, once again, not even painting in shots. So yeah, this is as good, this is as good as you as you get of, what am I saying? This is as good of you as you get of this. I don't think that made any sense, but let's just pretend that it did. Okay, so yeah, eventually I did realise that I was, um, I wasn't really painting in shots. So yeah, I did turn the camera around eventually. So yeah, now I'm just adding more branches to the tree. Um, and just kind of touching it up in general, really. I think I, like, I don't know, went a bit, like, perfectionist -y, I guess, on the tree. Because, yeah, I mean, I will say, though, the branches do look pretty good. Because, like, they look pretty, like, crisp, I guess. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just adding more branches. I don't really know what I can say about that. Like, sometimes I'll, like, um, film something and then, like... I don't know, of me just like doing like the same thing for like a really long time and there's just like not really much to say about it. Like even if it is sped up like it is at the moment, thankfully. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just starting more branches then. Okay, um, am I done with the branches yet? Oh my goodness, I'm still going, right? I don't know what to say about that, but yeah. Let's just... Um... <laughs> what noise am I making? Anyway, um, let's get some orange. Um, I don't actually know what I'm doing here, by the way. <laughs> um, so I... Okay, so I did for, like, the ground where the tree is, is to, like cover it in like flowers um and I was doing like orange and pink flowers although to be honest they kind of looked like the same color um but you know they are different um <laughs> yeah I did realize though that like with the tree I could have had like leaves on it because of course I could have done orange leaves because it's like autumn leaves um or I could have done pink which would have looked a bit over the top but of course that could be like blossom but like, you know, intense <laughs> blossom. And I mean, I'm sure you could get like pink leaves, like really vibrant, kind of like magenta-y pink leaves on a tree. I'm sure you could get that. Like, like, I don't know. I feel like you just could. <laughs> So now I've just got some of the pink and the brown and I'm mixing them together um, and yeah I'm just doing this. Um, I'm creating like a hill because you know I said in the beginning how you know there are going to be hills and yeah. Um, so yeah I'm just doing that. This one's going to be like fully opaque but like the other ones are going to be once again diluted with the water. I'm using this kind of like burgundy colour. Is that burgundy? Yeah, kind of. That's like, yeah, that's pretty similar. Um, kind of like a purpley burgundy. That's the um, scientific name for it. Um, so yeah, now I'm starting to kind of dilute it with water a bit. I will say it did work better this time because... Um, I wasn't using as much water and yeah I don't I don't know why what <laughs> what any other reasons were um, but yeah I completely painted over like um, that hill thing that I had at the beginning um, but yeah here it is I actually did like the other hills off camera like you can't really see them to be honest because like they're very diluted and it kind of bothers me but I'm just gonna have to let it go um, and I also added like this like sun orange sun you know that looks totally normal and I was I was trying to like film me me taking off the masking tape 
but it was really like unsatisfying and annoying and it just wasn't fun um because it kept on ripping um and yeah i just got really frustrated in the end so i just um did it off camera because you know i didn't have to worry about you know getting it in shot and that kind of thing i find with acrylics um that like taking off masking tape is like a lot harder um so yeah i just gave up on that <laughs> okay so the painting is finally complete i'm pretty happy with it um it's not like my favorite painting ever ever um ever um but yeah i don't i don't hate it um i like it quite a lot actually but yeah i don't know why i'm not like um liking this very much because like i don't know maybe it's like the unusual colors but i don't know i feel like that I kind of like the unusual colours. I don't really know what the problem is here, to be honest. But yeah, I promise I'm not going to do any three colour painting challenges for a while now. I'd like to do on watercolour at some point and, you know, other art mediums. But yeah, I will do that in a little while off because I think you're all sick of seeing three colour painting challenges. So yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like and you can also subscribe if you want to see more content on the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.